Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Robert Moraine, and welcome back to What Makes This Dancer Great. Today's dancer is going to be the creator of Crump, the founder of the art form, Tide Eyes. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Just a couple of weeks ago, I polled you guys in my community section on who you'd like to see on the next What Makes This Dancer Great, and Tide Eyes had won by a giant margin. So here is the Tide Eyes episode, the long-awaited founder of Crump episode. I don't like normally posting battle videos, but I'm going to be showing Tide Eyes battling because he is really in his element, his rawest, purest, most energetic form. I looked over all the videos I could possibly find of Tide Eyes and I found these three and I felt that he was just giving the most in these three and they all happen to be battles. Aside from the last one, it's actually a performance, but this first one is his most recent video I have of him battling Lauren from the Le, Le Twins and it is so hype, the music goes off, the crowd goes wild. Let's see what makes this dancer great. Tell you didn't know the song at first, caught the groove, and now it's game over. <laughs> what did I tell you? This the stakes are high and he is going off. And It's also nice to see his chemistry with with Miho because that's another thing is they are just the shit together and they both bring out the best in each other so so this dynamic between the both of them is really nice to watch and to see another side of tie dice now I'm gonna leave the Le twins rounds in here because this battle is way too epic to not show the whole thing I've got to show the whole thing And you can see totally the influence of Tide Eyes on the Twins. They share a, a similar, the way they set up their combinations and their kill-offs totally have huge influence from Tide Eyes. I mean, the Twins wear all their influences on their sleeve and Tide Eyes is, in my opinion, one of their biggest influences. A lot of the way they do their kill-offs and their beat kills are like the way crumpers do and who created crumpy tie dyes and and they even say that they're highly inspired by him so it's really interesting to watch them battle Woo! see the way they set up the rhythm and the way they break it down on the one is such a crumping thing to do but the moves and the way they move is different but the timing and the impact of that kill off is totally inspired by tie dyes I would say. You see him whisper something in Amijo's ear, he was like setting something up, strategizing. And if you if you watch this video up here about the drama that I did, the drama incident that happened at this event where Tide Eyes thought he got robbed. He actually breaks down his strategy in this battle. And he's a strategizer. And he is way ahead of strategy as far as battles and competitions go than a lot of other battlers. And that energy is so raw. And like, I'm gonna have trouble trying to focus on all the things that make him great because there's so much, like, that whole 
jumping off into the you if you look into the audience if you stop pause replay people are they jump up it's like standing ovation in the crowd when he jumped into the the pit right there and yo like what that the dynamic is so huge in a battle to use your space and use your your uh, environment around you and tie dyes does just that every time he goes in it's insane look i mean lauren he even feel i feel like he's even lost a little bit of his uh ego and charisma after that it's like oh damn it's like when someone just kills it and you have to go in after that it's not easy so the stakes are really high and it doesn't look like he knows what to do to, to match that level of killing it. <laughs> like I said, it's going to be hard to focus. I'm a big fan of tie dyes and especially of these particular battles. So excuse my not getting too deep and technical. It's hard to be like deep and technical watching a battle when you're inspired by it. Another reason I like to watch solos and judge demos in this series, but I digress. Yeah, yeah, that what a what a great performance from Tide Eyes and Miho. That was a mind blowing set, and that's why I showed this video first because it just shows the level of his skill and his battle and competition level. You could see his energy and rawness when the stakes are high, he could really go off 110%. Here's another battle where he goes off. This is probably my favorite video from Tide Eyes because he just he just lets go. He has the he just lets it he lets the dance and the music take over. And all the best dancers, in my opinion, have that ability. Let's see what makes this dancer great. Sometimes I just need to shut up. <laughs> it's been a month. Give me time. I need to flow back into my flow for the YouTube thing. House of Exile, a few years back. You know, check it, it's dance hall. Tide Eyes is a crump founder. And she obviously knows a little bit of dance hall. Obviously. Imagine having to go against that. I would be scared as hell. I consider myself a good popper. And I'm good at what I do and I'm pretty confident in my in what I can my abilities. But if I had to go up against someone that is a skilled dancer in their world in their against their music yeah, it's not easy Alright, now we get to see a little bit of his technique. What makes... He's really able to adjust to this style not only because of his musicality, but because he has really good isolation. He can fake it. Because obviously in dance hall, you, ha you have to have good hip isolation. And tie dyes can fake it because he has isolation. And he has really good isolation. And then him adjusting crumping to this style of music is just beautiful. It's juxtaposed so well. Hey. And something that we don't get to see often is his footwork. And when he does do footwork, he has magical footwork. Look, judges are going off. Shout out to Buddha Stretch. Oh, he's just letting go. It's so pure and so raw. It's so expressive. And his ability at crumping is so high that he can adjust it to any style of music and still destroy. First round. He destroyed. Super impressive. Crowd-pleasing, even. 
Oh shit. <laughs> He's like, let me show you a sub real quick. Now the crumpin' music's on. And she is not. I, in my opinion, not adjusting like the way tie dyes did at all. But then again, you know, tie dyes is just. like the final boss of crumping. Not only that, but the, he's on like a world level, street style, street dance level. I mean, arguably, him and Miho won Fusion Concept last year, so that's what level they're on. He's on. And Tie Dye's like, he did work in, in Fusion Concept. All of the ones he entered, he put in work. A lot of his best videos are from Future Concept. Oh. Ah. It's like, you're gonna battle me now? I can battle. <laughs> Yo, it's infectious. <laughs> it's infectious. Nah, don't make Dawn either. You just destroyed your set. Unparalleled. Unmatched. Unsurpassed. Tight eyes. Yo, that was so organic and raw. And so in the moment, storytelling, she called him out. He was gonna just dance. And then she started talking shit, and so he answered. She shouldn't have talked shit, but like, not against the battler, like tight eyes, yo. Feels good to be back. Yo, I'm sorry for cursing, but that's the universal spirit in this moment. Yes. Look, if you can get Buddha stretch hype. Look at him. He's like, his mind's blown. Buddha Stretch is like, yo. <laughs> that's that's proof enough of what a great dancer Tai Dai is. It's 10 o'clock. There's no F train. Oh my. Judges, on the count of three. One, two, three. Yep. Ooh, unanimous. Let's get into this next video. <laughs> this is gonna be the last video. If this is a pretty recent video, I think it's two years old if I remember correctly. It's a World of Dance BET edition thing. Well, I don't even know what it was, but it was a collab between World of Dance and uh, BET. I feel like he went off on this. Yeah, let's watch this. See what makes this dancer great. He's intense in this one. Always super charismatic and so passionate when he's on stage or in a in a cipher. Again with the footwork. That raw energy, yo. I mean he's just sitting there like looking at his hand but it's so intense <laughs> there's always a there's always tension and release in his sets too see like he'll slow it down break it down half time it or like do some weird rhythm and then come back to the double timing and just completely destroy it again. Got, he got hat tricks on lock. 
You can do many styles of dance. You can fake many styles of dance. When the stakes are high, he just comes out with everything he's, he's got and just gives it all. And uh, like I said in the last couple of videos, his, his energy and his raw performance power and charisma is so infectious and he gets the, he gets the crowd hype. I love when he breaks away from the battle or, or the cypher and he goes up to the corner of the stage and hypes up like the corner of the crowd that has the bad seats and shit. Like he, he, he has such a great communication with the audience and he's such a great performer. And obviously, he freaking created a style of dance. His, capa his The capacity he has as an artist is huge. He's not just a good battler or a good dancer or like a good performer. He's also a freaking creator. What is there more to say? That's what makes him great. He freaking created a, a, one of the newest styles of street dance that there is. He created it. That in itself is what makes him great. But aside from that, his technique, his ability, his charisma, his intelligence, if, you, if you've heard him speak, he's a freaking smart dude. Super passionate man. I enjoy listening to him speak as well as watching him dance. Like he's an all around just like great human being in person. You could tell that yeah, he, he's just on another level spiritually and just he has a, a vision and he's created his own universe. And uh, I mean, look, here, here I am doing a video about him. So there you have it, Tide Eyes, one of the best dancers of our time, in my opinion. So uh, that's all I got really to say on this episode, episode 21. I feel like uh, I let you guys down not posting any videos for the past month, so I apologize for that. I'm back. It took a while for me to adjust um, from my transition of in the circus, touring seven months straight with only 11 days off, to coming back to Paris and only working five days a week at night only at the cabaret and being with my girlfriend. It's like a crazy transition for me. So it's been hard to get back into the YouTube rhythm. And it's a lot more difficult to light this room than it is the caravan. So it takes a lot more effort to do these videos in my apartment. I also have to make sure my girlfriend's not here. So apologies. I'm gonna keep trying to do videos at a consistent rate again. Uh, I just posted this, which is a recap of my trip in Finland. I kind of just monologue about all my experiences and events and this whole transitional period between Paris and Finland and all my personal feelings and stuff about this whole tour so i suggest you go check that out if you've been missing the channel and missing my content there's a whole boatload of what's like a yeah it's a recap of the last seven months of my life so check that out and uh, again my apologies for not being consistent lately i also want to say thank you i hit 14k subs while i took this break which is crazy I keep getting subs and you guys keep watching my videos like my view rate stays pretty damn consistent for not posting so I'm really happy that my channel is finally kind of the ball is rolling now it's up to me to continue it and to nurture it and grow it into something beautiful the seed has been planted and I have like a little bud going on and yeah the the future is bright and I'm really excited about being back here in Paris and being back here sharing my perspective on dance with you guys. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. To all my Crumper new fans out there, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming here and checking out my stuff. If you guys dig it, please subscribe. And uh, for all my non-Crumpers, if you guys are new here, please subscribe. I'm doing content like this all the time and I will try and make this diverse content about all styles of dance. And uh, that's about it. My name's Robert Moraine, Mr. Fantastic. Until next time, peace.